What we did was we worked to assemble a group of suppliers that work with General Motors now on projects related to waste minimization and pollution prevention. And found some were uh, investigating these options because people want to help. People want to work and uh, see what they can do uh, in the Gulf to uh, make a difference. So the group was assembled, we had some discussions, we found synergies, they collaborated, we've had several meetings, and here is where we are today, producing great parts and materials with recycled content from the Gulf. The process starts at GDC, a product that we make called Sonazorb, which is an acoustical absorbing product that is made from 100% polypropylene. The trim byproduct from that process is sent to uh, absorbent boom manufacturers who then make absorbent booms to be used in spill events. Some 2,000 miles of absorbent were put in the Gulf of Mexico to absorb oil and uh, protect the beaches and the marshes. With the help of BP and waste management, Mobile Fluid was brought in to assist in getting the liquid out of the material and then recycling the uh, polypropylene in the absorbent boom once it was all done. When we get the material here, we run it through our densifying process, which actually turns it from light fluffy material into heavier material. And we would then take it and uh, compound it into another product we manufacture called Enduraprene, which uses post-consumer and post-industrial recycle it, uh, car tires, rubber, things like that, and, and then it is in turn made into automotive parts again. Each company plays a key role based on their area of expertise. Uh, obviously, GM has been trying to uh, coordinate that effort, but we do rely on our suppliers as we do on an everyday basis to you know, fill in those gaps, provide that technical knowledge on their specific area. So really the key is collaboration, cross-industry collaboration as well. Today, recycling is very critical to the survival of all industries. Recycling must be number one for manufacturers to create products. The oil that's used to create those plastics will no longer be available once those have been landfilled. New material takes new oil molecules. This process we are taking and recycling those molecules and reusing them over and over instead of having to rely on those new sources. GM believes in resource conservation. If we can take materials and figure out through our supplier base and other technology investigations that we can move those materials into a good use, that's a good thing for the world. Today, a GM has 69 manufacturing operations that are landfill free. Since 2007, GM has made $2.5 billion on scrap revenue and sales. So it's a significant effort as well as it's the right thing to do for the environment, obviously.